So I'm ready to start stitching my design. Um, I'm going to try and get a nice, smooth, fluid motion. I'm actually going to go a little um, faster than you might think. If you go too slow, uh, your design tends to look a little bit wiggly or a bit jagged. So I'm going to go a bit faster to create a nice, smooth, fluid design. It's going to feel as if you're throwing and catching the machine. So here we go. You'll notice even when I leave the line, I don't jerk the machine back. I just smooth back into place and carry on. I personally have a tendency to grip the handles too hard. So I will purposely use just a couple of fingers to hold the machine or try to use a very light touch. Otherwise my hands start to cramp. So I like to stop every so often and just have a peek, make sure everything looks all right. I always like to check my tension early on and make sure that everything is the way it should be. None of us want to rip stitches. And this looks really, really beautiful. So I'm going to carry on and finish off this row. And I will see you at the beginning of the next row to show you how to do a partial design and fill in the undulating areas or the highs and lows because we have a straight top border. So we'll need to fill in those open areas. So I finished stitching my row and I've stopped on the X. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at the top of my quilt and make sure that I'm in that uh, little basted area, quarter inch outside of my um, basting seam. I'm going to do a couple of locking stitches to make sure my thread stays in my quilt where I want it. Moving the machine slightly. Finish with my needle up, move into the body of the quilt grab that thread tail and come back, drop the needle and raise it once more. And when I move the quilt, move the machine this time, it's going to bring my bobbin thread up to the surface and I'll snip that all right there. I'm now ready to go back and stitch uh, the partial design. 
because the top edge of my quilt is um, flat and the design undulates, we need to dip in and just quilt those areas that are still unquilted. 